Welcome to the channel guys. I'm in a dog kennel. How'd I get here? <laughs> well, I brought Miss Melly. A little bit of warmed up the other half she had yesterday and she got the other half today. She's very, very skittish so I gotta come in here and get her back. She doesn't probably know what happened to her. But you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Don't you go eat your supper? I'm gonna spend a little time with you. See, she's going to the bathroom just fine. Yeah, it's a new place. You were out here all by yourself, huh? Maybe I'll try to rig you up a radio or something tonight. You'll get used to it. But let me tell you something, Millie. Them little kids of yours were... Oh! Man, the timing of this is terrible because these puppies need to be out here. They are destroying things. Willie got up in the windowsill yesterday, worked his way around to the other windowsill, got stuck behind the washer, couldn't get him out, had to move the washer. This morning I see the lamp in there going like this. They knocked it down, so I had to unplug it. See, I've got that piece of wallboard covering up where the outlet is because I don't want them into that. So I took a screw and fastened it to where they can't move it, but it's like everything I do, they do, they come, they find something else. <laughs> yeah. Won't you go eat? I'm just gonna stay in here and visit you because, yeah, you need to eat. You got a nice area. Look at the view you got. Yeah. Got all that stuff cut down where you can see. Yeah, you're not being punished. All the puppies there, all the all the dogs that live here, they had to go through just what you did. Yeah, that's part of being in the mafia, the dog mafia. Yeah, Waldo's sticking up a name for you. I don't know, Millie the Millie the Magnet. He'll come up with something. He's Waldo the Gooch. Yeah. All right, we're just doing a little talking, walking, visiting video today. Well, what you say, Waddles? Just standing there amongst your scratch? I like to do that sometimes, too. Yeah. All the girls are up. Well, it's supposed to rain a lot. So I guess all day today. It rained most of yesterday. Not real bad. I mean, not even enough to uh, do anything with the French drain. Let me tell you something, you guys, you guys are something else. Yeah, especially you, Willie. Especially you. Well, we gotta get you guys out of that swimming pool bed and get you out here because your bottoms of your bellies are getting yucky looking. That's because you guys pee the bed and I can't wash them fast enough. Yeah, I can't wash stuff fast enough to keep up with you guys. You got three beds now, and one's always clean. I think that's just naturally how they are. They're fine. Yeah, you guys are healthy. You sure eat enough. I picked up another 40 pound bag of puppy food today. Yeah, you guys eat it up, eat it up. All right, wait a minute. Well, that's Bill. You moved over there. I thought. <laughs> I thought I had two boys. I'm like, wait, how did I miss that? Right, let's go back here. Yeah, man. They, the bigger they get, uh, the harder they are to deal with. I mean, you can't even. And when it's raining like this, they don't want to come out, and they are full of energy, man. Oh, it is crazy. Oh, just a few more weeks, I hope. So, I think the plan is Monday. I'm going to leave her in there till Monday. And the reason is, her and Tilly really rough house. And I don't want any chance that she's going to rip those stitches out of there. Uh, because she's probably going to start feeling better by tomorrow. And, you know, Tilly, I didn't have a choice with her. Uh because I had Millie in there with the puppies and of course I had Libby so I had nowhere to put Tilly 
but she stu she hung around the house and and she was fine she didn't play or nothing but it you know if i let millie out till he ain't gonna understand and so we don't want to do that so y'all want to go take a look at some of these wildfires let's go see all these little white doodads down here I try not to cut these down let the bees and all that have some let's go see what else we can find I think there's some more back in here now I should take them wildflower seeds break this up a little bit and throw them in here I think that's what I'm gonna do this stuff growing really fast And we are having a bad snake year, but today shouldn't be a day I have to worry about that. Let me get these little guys here. I don't know what they are. They almost look like honeysuckle. There might be some variety of that. Every year I find something different. You know, birds carry seeds. And I don't know what kind of tree this is. And I purposely not cut it down. It's just cool. When it's in full bloom, it's just cool. There's actually four of them there. Uh, it's gotten pretty tall in the last few years. Because you got to remember, all this was burnt down five years ago to nothing. And this is just, you know, well, 2015, so eight years ago, I guess. And here's some other kind of plant coming up. I admit I don't know much about these Arkansas plants, but that one looks kind of cool. It better look as cool for a little bit because it's coming down. My weed eater. Right, let's go up the trail a little more. Just kind of doing a walking. See what we can find. Now, I had some raspberries back here last year over on up the trail a bit, but I was in there uh, cutting all that down. I think I may have cut it down. You see how quick this grows. Like there's a cedar sapling right there. We don't want that. There's so many kinds of vegetation. Back in here, I'd say about right here I had uh, raspberries. And I don't see, probably too early. I don't see anything, but most of it looks like just a bunch of junk. And the flowers, they really haven't come out yet. This is the very beginning. Looks like there's some white flowers in here. Man, I've never seen them before. And this is the uh, most hated thing in Arkansas this thorny stuff it's everywhere I don't see anything else and I've got these little morning glory looking things pink purplish yeah so there's all kinds of wildflowers but I could have more there's some saplings coming up I gotta get rid of it really greening up now usually with these what I'll do is I'll come with a machete because I don't want these low branches on these trees I like to keep them as high as I can get them let's see I gotta either start walking again or get the weed eater and get my trails cut see so like this one don't want that growing out smacking me in the head. I'll go find the machete. A lot of poison ivy out already. Of course, that never bothered me. That pokeweed. Got a lot of pokeweeds coming up. We're coming back around to visit you, Millie. She's scared. She probably don't understand 
while she's in there. She'll get over it. She'll be fine. This is the perfect kind of weather for her to heal up. Yeah. It's not cold. It's 50 something degrees. But you're just scared. You'll be all right. And if she could be indoors, she'd be indoors, but she can't. I have nowhere. All right, let's go through here. Hope you guys like this kind of video. Didn't didn't know what else to do with rain coming. I'm not going to start a project. Uh, got that cedar trees down. This one. I don't know. This one's probably going to stay. That one's been damaged. This one's been damaged. And once they're damaged like that, the top's knocked off. It's hard for them to come back and at least look decent. And those look terrible. Usually, I got some flowers in here. It's probably, like I said, too early. That's more of those little purple ones. Yeah. This will be full of red, little red flowers like these. This always fills up. The uh, Turkey Track Festival across the road is full of those. It's like a sea of red. Now let's walk over here real quick. I'll pause you guys until we get over there. Alright, we're on the other side of the property. Side where the cemetery is for the pets. Or family, should I say. Now this, my land goes probably another 15 feet back. I'm actually in the leach field for the septic. There really ain't much grows in there. Just a lot of these vines. Very lush uh, vegetation. And there's Lulu. What I'm going to do, these rocks, okay, the reason these rocks are on here is when you first, you know, when you first bury an animal, around here we got all kinds of animals that dig. So you put these rocks on there, but after a couple years you can take them off. So I will be taking these off, leveling this out, she's fine, and uh, I'm going to get rid of these. What I want to do is just get all their headstones flat. Where I mean, where I can, the upkeep is a lot easier. Uh, they'll still have their markers where they are. I need to kind of leave these in an angle so I know where not to dig on the next ones. But uh, I'm just showing you guys, it's not easy to look at it, but it's, you know, but, but it's hard to do. Keep these nice looking with all this stuff around here. And, uh, you know, she's been gone since 17. And Wally, there's his grave. Again, I could take his rocks. See, it's just, that, it's easier for me to maintain if I don't have these. And that's Libby's grave there. She does have a headstone on the way. I screwed up when I ordered it off Amazon. I didn't see. Make sure you see where they're shipping from. This one's coming from China. So who knows? It, it may not get here till August. So, all right, let's go through. Really nothing. There's, I think that's lavender. There's, it's everywhere. I think that's what that is. I don't know. And my junk pile. few more minutes guys let's go see if anything's in here or did we walk through here I don't know just a uh, peaceful little area I don't want to take any of these trees down if I don't have to I'd like to clear something out here have a picnic table some chairs because this really gets really shady in here in the summer it's really nice and I have taken a few trees out, but like in here, they're kind of bunched up. Actually, that one's, is that one dead? Yeah, that pine tree's got to go. Ain't serving any purpose, but these oaks can stay there. They're close. 
but if they're far enough apart they'll be fine oh i want to show you this tree guys you remember the one i said my favorite little tree and it had that one two sprouts on it well, look let's go look at it now look at this it's got those of course look up here all the way up to about here so that's good because i'm gonna tell you why if those were all it got and i was talking about cutting it off there then it would all it would ever be is like a bush it would never be a tree like that again but now it has a chance because obviously it's alive up to this point actually this tree is alive but for some reason yeah it's not dead that ain't brittle for some reason it's not uh putting leaves out on the tops but but it's doing this and uh maybe i've never paid attention but i've never seen one do that so i ain't cutting anything i'm gonna let it see how it grows out it may grow out better than ever but it always stayed like that and it never branched out anymore but these aren't now well, that one's a little brittle but these ain't that one i imagine is dead but i'm not gonna touch it i'm gonna let nature handle that and you know like i said i gotta come back with a machete because he's you let them go just one year it goes nuts and uh my land is a two is two sections okay this part is one plot this tree line right here is where the first plot ends and it goes back to that tall tree right there that's the end of my first property line it's 250 feet across my second property property line starts here where this trail is and it goes back 150 feet and then across 250 feet most of which you see there's not much i can do with unless i got a bulldozer in here but i have seen this land totally cleared when we had the fire it's nothing but rocks if you go down to about where that green tree through there is there's a creek uh that's dutch creek that runs through there it's more like a yeah it, it crosses the road and then it goes through there so it floods down there it would never come up here but I mean there is some usable land if I was to clear it like this little section I've got cleared out but it's all hilly you know I could have a little area back in here and I could go back quite a ways and cut all this out but you got to maintain that <laughs> I've already got too much to maintain so you, you got to look at your it's your abilities before you start clearing can you keep up with it and honestly i have a hard time keeping up with what i've already cleared so i like the fact that you know i got nature right here i mean that's dense dense stuff and i like that but i don't want to clear anymore because that creates problems uh i like the wildlife all right guys we're gonna go ahead and end it just uh walking and talking i already started tearing apart this this deck i gotta get out here and finish it but it's just it's rotten i don't know what the heck i was thinking when i built this out of untreated wood some of it's treated those are treated but it those are rotten already so we'll build something else maybe the deck part is salvageable it's strong this was actually the old deck from the loft that i tore down yeah it's still solid this is this deck board but that isn't so maybe we can come up with something different uh all this has got to come down terrible terrible i don't know what i was thinking all right guys thanks for watching Try to get some projects going here real quick. Uh, what I I was started talking about Monday, the puppies. Uh, that's the planned move date. If Jeff can come help me, we'll get them out one at a time. 
I'll give them their five and one shot. I'll warm them and get a photograph of them because the rescue needs photographs of them. I want to get good ones and then we'll put them in the kennel and then we'll write that down on each puppy and check them out because man trying to get in there with all of them you can't you got to get them one at a time and, and, and as big as they are i need somebody to help me and he said he would so then when they're in there i'm going to take this kennel apart that's attached to the house and make that kennel bigger so they have a place to come out run around play do what puppies do man i don't understand what they do but they do all right guys i'll shut up happy trails